Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on three-phase synchronous generators. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine generated EMF using phasor algebra. We shall also learn how to calculate voltage regulation of a three-phase synchronous generator. A 20 kilovolt ampere, 440 volt, 50 hertz, three-phase star connected synchronous generator has effective armature resistance of 0 0.3 ohm. The field current of 1.5 ampere produces short circuit current of 15 ampere and an open circuit EMF of 75 volt per phase. We have to determine full load voltage regulation at unity power factor. Let us first write down the given data. Rating of the generator S equals to 20 kilovolt ampere. That is equal to 20 into 10 to the power 3 volt ampere. Line to line terminal voltage V equals to 440 volts. Since the armature is star connected, terminal voltage per phase ET equals to V by root 3. That is equal to 440 divided by root 3. That gives us 254.0341 volts. Given armature resistance per phase, RA equals to 0 0.3 ohm. Open circuit EMF per phase EOC equals to 75 volts. Short circuit current ISC equals to 15 ampere. Load power factor cos phi equals to 1. Let us now determine synchronous impedance. ZS equals to EOC divided by ISC that is equal to 75 divided by 15 that gives us 5 ohm. Expression for synchronous reactance XS equals to root over ZS square minus RS square. Using values we get root over 5 square minus 0 0.3 square that gives us 4.991 ohm. Synchronous impedance may be written in phasor form as ZS equals to RA plus J excess that is equal to 0 0.3 plus J 4.991 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 5 ohm at an angle 86.5602 degree. Let us now determine armature current. IA equals to S divided by 3 times ET. Using values we get 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 254.0341. That gives us 26.2432 ampere. Power factor angle phi equals to cos inverse 1. That is equal to 0 degree. Armature current may be written in phasor form as IA equals to IA at an angle phi. That is equal to 26.2432 ampere at an angle 0 degree. Expression for generated EMF E0 equals to ET plus IA into ZS. Taking ET as reference, we get 254.0341 at an angle 0 degree plus 26.2432 at an angle 0 degree into 5 at an angle 86.5602 degree. That gives us 261.91 plus J 130.98 volts. This may be written in polar form as 292.8327 volts at an angle 26.5696 degree. Let us now determine voltage regulation. That is equal to 
E0 minus ET divided by ET. Using values we get 292.8327 minus 254.0341 divided by 254.0341. That gives us 0 0.1527 per unit or 15.27%. A 500 kilovolt ampere, 3300 volts, 50 hertz, three phase star connected synchronous generator has effective armature resistance and synchronous reactance per phase 0 0.3 ohm and 4 ohm respectively. We have to calculate full load voltage regulation at 0 0.8 lagging power factor. Let us first jot down. The given data, rating of the generator S equals to 500 kilovolt ampere. That is equal to 500 into 10 to the power 3 volt ampere. Line to line terminal voltage V equals to 3300 volts. Since armature is star connected, terminal voltage per phase ET equals to V by root 3 that is equal to 3300 divided by root 3 that gives us 1905.3 volts. Given armature resistance per phase RA equals to 0 0.3 ohm. Synchronous reactance per phase excess equals to 4 ohm. Load power factor cos phi equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Synchronous impedance may be written in phasor form as Zs equals to Ra plus J excess that is equal to 0 0.3 plus J 4 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 4.0112 ohm at an angle 85.7108 degree. Let us now determine armature current. Ia equals to S divided by 3 times Et. Using values we get 500 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 1905.3. That gives us 87.4773 ampere. Power factor angle phi equals to cos inverse 0 0.8. That is equal to 36.8699 degree. Armature current may be written in phasor form as Ia equals to Ia at an angle minus 5. That is equal to 87.4773 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Expression for generated EMF. E0 equals to ET plus IA into ZS. Taking ET as reference, we get E0 equals to 1905.3 at an angle 0 degree plus 87.4773 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree into 4.0. 112 at an angle 85.7108 degree. That gives us 2136.2 plus J 264.18 volts. This may be written in polar form as 2152.4696 volts at an angle 7.0499 degree. Let us now determine voltage regulation that is equal to E0 minus ET divided by ET. Using values we get 2152.4696 minus 1905.3 divided by 1905.3 that gives us 0 0.1297 per unit or 12.97 percent. A 1600 kilovolt ampere, 13,500 volts, 50 hertz, three-phase star connected synchronous generator 
has effective armature resistance and synchronous reactance per phase 1.5 ohm and 30 ohm respectively. We have to determine the voltage regulation for a load of 1280 kW at 0 0.8 leading power factor. Let us first jot down the given data. Load PL equals to 1280 kW that is equal to 1280 into 10 to the power 3 watt. Line to line terminal voltage V equals to 13500 volts. Since armature is star connected, terminal voltage per phase ET equals to V by root 3. That is equal to 13500 divided by root 3. That gives us 7794.2 volts. Given armature resistance per phase RA equals to 1.5 ohm. Synchronous reactance per phase excess equals to 30 ohm. Load power factor cos phi equals to 0 0.8 leading. Let us now determine synchronous impedance in phasor form. Zs equals to Ra plus Jxs that is equal to 1.5 plus J30 ohm that gives us 30.0375 ohm at an angle 87.1376 degree. Armature current Ia equals to Pl divided by 3 times Et into cos phi using values we get 1280 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 7794.2 into 0 0.8 that gives us 68.4267 ampere. Power factor angle phi equals to cos inverse 0 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. Armature current may be written in phasor form as Ia equals to Ia at an angle phi that is equal to 68.4267 ampere at an angle 36.8699 degree. Expression for generated EMF E0 equals to Et plus Ia into Zs. Taking Et as reference we get E0 equals to 7794.2 at an angle 0 degree plus 68.4267 at an angle 36.8699 degree into 30.0375 at an angle 87.1376 degree. That gives us 6644.7 plus J 1703.8 volts. This may be written in polar form as 6859.6302 volts at an angle 14.3819 degree. Let us now determine voltage regulation that is equal to E0 minus Et divided by Et. Using values we get 6859.6302 minus 7794.2 divided by 7794.2. That gives us minus 0 0.1199 per unit or minus 11.99 percent. A 1200 kVA 2500 volts 50 hertz 3 phase star connected synchronous generator has effective armature resistance of 0 0.12 ohm. The field current of 50 ampere produces short circuit current of 300 ampere and an open circuit EMF of 750 volts line. 
we have to determine full load voltage regulation at 0.8 lagging power factor. Let us first write down the given data. Rating of the generator S equals to 1200 kilovolt ampere. That is equal to 1200 into 10 to the power 3 volt ampere. Line to line terminal voltage V equals to 2500 volts. Since the armature is star connected, terminal voltage per phase ET equals to V by root 3. That is equal to 2500 divided by root 3 that gives us 1443.4 volts. Given armature resistance per phase RA equals to 0.12 ohm. Open circuit EMF per phase EOC equals to 750 by root 3 volts. Short circuit current ISC equals to 300 ampere. Let us now determine synchronous impedance. ZS equals to EOC divided by ISC that is equal to 750 by root 3 divided by 300 that gives us 1.4434 ohm. Expression for synchronous reactance XS equals to root over ZS square minus RS square. Using values we get root over 1.4434 square minus 0.12 square that gives us 1.4384 ohm. Synchronous impedance may be written in phasor form as ZS equals to RA plus JXS that is equal to 0.12 plus J 1.4384 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 1.4434 ohm at an angle 85.231 degree. Let us now determine armature current. IA equals to S divided by 3 times ET. Using values we get 1200 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 1443.4. That gives us 277.1281 ampere. Taking terminal voltage per phase as reference we get ET equals to 1443.4 volts at an angle 0 degree. We have determined synchronous impedance per phase ZS equals to 1.4434 ohm at an angle 85.231 degree. Armature current IA equals to 277.1281 ampere. Given load power factor cos phi equals to 0.8 lagging. Let us now determine power factor angle. Phi equals to cos inverse 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. Armature current may be written in phasor form as IA equals to IA at an angle minus phi that is equal to 277.1281 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Expression for generated EMF E0 equals to ET plus IA into ZS. Using values we get 1443.4 at an angle 0 degree plus 277.1281 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree into 1.4434 at an angle 85.231 degree. That gives us 1709.1 plus J 298.94 volts. This may be written in polar form as 1735.0951 volts at an angle 9.921 degree. Let us now determine 
voltage regulation that is equal to E0 minus ET divided by ET. Using values we get 1735.0951 minus 1443.4 divided by 1443.4 that gives us 0 0.2021 per unit or 20.21 percent. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on three phase synchronous generators. By solving these problems we have learned how to determine generated EMF using phasor algebra. We have also learned how to calculate voltage regulation of a three phase synchronous generator. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.